So we are recording this and we are going to be talking about how to earn a trip. So this is my Disney shirt that I bought last time I went to Disney. That was five years ago. Every five years, Pampered Chef has been taking their consultants to Disney. Now, last time we went to Disney, California, this time we're going back to Disney, Florida. And I've been to both and Disney, Florida is way better, way bigger, way more fun. So just to give you an example of what happened last time, they take care of airfare for you and um, three other people. And you cannot take a consultant that has not earned the trip. So at one point, my daughter was a consultant on my team. If I had earned a trip that year and she did not earn the trip, I could not take her as one of my plus ones. So just an FYI, I know Avery was considering becoming a consultant. I told her to start after the trip to Arizona. So um, when she turns 18, she can start, but not. I said don't go until after Arizona because if she's a consultant and she has not earned the trip, she cannot be your plus one when you do the trips for two, and Disney is a trip for four. So they will do airfare. They usually ask me where I'd like to fly out of. So I have a tiny little airport, Manchester, New Hampshire, so I can make them fly me right out of there because somebody can drop us off. And then they usually fly us to either Boston or Philadelphia, and then we jump um, – a larger plane um, from there down to wherever we're going. Last time it was California, in April it will be Hawaii. So um, what's great about that is they take good care of you. Once you check in, um, they track all the consultants. So for those people who might be a little nervous about flying or whatever, do not fear. One time there was a big storm um, and some of the girls in Denver, Colorado actually couldn't get out of the airport and Pamper Chef was tracking the fact that their plane didn't take off. Um, they ended up taking those people and flying them out a day later and flying them because they missed a cruise. That was the year of a cruise, like the cruise ship does not wait for you. Uh, Pampered Chef actually flew them right to the Bahamas and put them up in a hotel down there. So Pampered Chef in past years has been unbelievable. And the year that um, uh, Wendy earned a trip um, to Florida, um, there was another girl whose car got broken into her and, and her passports got stolen. So Pampered Chef put her up in Florida because she couldn't get to on the cruise as well. So Pampered Chef has been um, very, very good for people who don't like to fly. They're very good for you. When you get off the, um, the luggage and you come down to go to get your luggage at luggage claim, there's somebody there with a Pampered Chef sign. So you know right where to go. You get your luggage, you come over, they check you in, they say sit here, then they take a bus and they put you on a bus and then they take you to the resort. So if you've never traveled before um, with Pampered Chef, I'll have to tell you that my husband was absolutely, without a doubt, thoroughly impressed with the way that they treat you. So earning a trip is amazing. They pay for uh, your Disney room. They pay for breakfast. Usually it's breakfast every day. We had breakfast every day. This time they're doing breakfast vouchers so that we're not doing a group breakfast together. Um, we're actually going to be doing um, breakfast vouchers. So if you're the type of person that likes to sleep in, which I am, um, I will not be getting up at like 7.30 or 8 o'clock to go have breakfast as a group. You could do it however you want to do it. Um, they usually do one big function where all of us get together for a dinner. We've done white parties on the beach before. They've done big uh, luau's in Hawaii, other fun things like that. And those are included. Um, so with Disney, you will be responsible for some lunches and some dinners. Um, because the Disney trip is a Disney trip for four and not two people, it is a shorter time frame typically. Um, but it was really nice if you guys didn't get a chance to watch the video, um, they talked about what you get and there's a whole new resort that is being built right now. It won't even be done being built until the summer and that's where we're going to be going. So, um, a whole new branding spanking new resort, which would be fabulous. And what's new this year too, is that all levels will be staying at the same resort, which is so great because like this year, Jen Mitchell's going to a different location than I'm going. So we don't get to like have dinner together and spend time together um, because she's going to Arizona and I'm going to Hawaii. So next year we're all going to Disney. So we'll be able to have a team meeting together, a team dinner or something like that together, all of us that earn the trip. So let me, share my screen and let's talk about um, earning a trip. So how do you earn a dream vacation? No one can go back and start a new beginning. You can't do 
to make any changes to what has already happened, but we can start today and we can change our endings. And just like Jen said on her little video today, if you guys did not watch Jen's Facebook Live, go back and watch that because she didn't think it was possible for her to earn a trip. And when I looked at her numbers last year or the year before, I said, you know what? If you just add one more virtual party a month and you add in a few fundraisers in the mix of this, you and you recruit a few team members to your team, you're gonna earn a trip. And we plotted it out and sure enough, she stayed on track and earned that trip. Now, what are the requirements? There are three different levels for Disney and there are different levels based on where you are in your business. If you are a consultant, a senior consultant, meaning you have one team member, or a team leader, meaning you have two team members, it will be 56,000 points to get to the level one trip. It'll be 85,000 to get to a level two trip, and then 150,000 points to get to the elite. Now, I want you guys to really focus in on director level. Director level means that you have five team members and a total of 5,000 team sales every month, and you're paid at the director level, and the requirements to earn the trip go down 5,000 points. So it goes down pretty substantial. Level two, it goes from 85,000 to 80,000. So what does that mean? How do these points accumulate? So this is the most important slide. I'm gonna post this on our team page, but let's say you don't have a lot of bookings right now on your calendar, right? So we wanna talk about, and we are going to do a training on how to do bookings, how to get bookings on your calendar. So two by two, if you have two shows on your January calendar, and they average $550 in sales. Now we use the 550 amount because a live cooking show, the average is about 650, and a virtual show is about 450. So this is like a combination of both because we don't know what you're gonna do. So if you are 100% virtual, you're gonna need to do a little bit more than if you were 100% live. We just sell more when people see the products, okay? So, our goal is to start off January with more than two shows, but if you started January with two shows and you booked two shows from that show, you would go into February with four shows, okay? And then if from those four shows, if you book two shows each from that, and we will talk about how do you get bookings from shows, because sometimes I leave shows and I have no bookings, and other times I have bookings, so we're gonna talk about it because it happens to all of us. But if you go into March with eight bookings and you sustain eight bookings the rest of the year, eight shows a month, here's how it breaks down. And we're going to talk about different ways of breaking it down because not everybody can do eight shows a month. But if you did eight shows a month at $550 average sales, you would sell $47,300. You'd earn almost $11,500 in commission you would be doing 86 shows times eight guests. So our goal is to have 15 guests at every show. I always tell my hostesses our goal is five, 15, five, five orders before the show, 15 guests at the show, and five orders after the show. But if we shoot for 15 guests at the show and we actually end up with eight or 10 on average, that's good. Of those 86 guests, Three recruiting packages. We want to talk about the um, Life Taste Great brochure, the new recruiting brochure, and we want to be looking for three people per show that we would like to work with. People that um, maybe want to be a stay-at-home mom, people that are entrepreneurs, people who could use extra money, they seem motivated, they would like to own their own business. I had a girl at a show just the other night and she drives an hour and a half one way to her job. And she does, um, I don't know whether she do haircuts at a, at a resort or whether she does massage, but she works in the spa of a resort. And I thought, oh Lord, an hour and a half one way? She needs to do Pampered Chef on the side. <laughs> All I could do is think about Jen Mitchell, like, <laughs> Jen drives an hour one way. I'm like, that's a lot. Now, I drive an hour to a show, but that's maybe twice a month, <laughs> you know, that I drive that far. So um, if you give out three recruit packets, that's 258 recruit packets that you're giving out that you're talking to. Now, 
we know that about one in 10 people that you talk to about the business will actually join your team. You've heard my story that the first year I, I was serious about Pampered Chef and I wanted to earn a trip, I became very, very intentional about building an organization because that is the fastest way to earn a trip. And I recruited 25 people, just like it says here, 25 people that first year. And my recruiting line was, oh my God, I'm from Boston in New Hampshire. If I can do this, you can do this. Literally, that was my recruiting line. So girls, it, I'm going to tell you much smoother, fabulous lines to, to, to say, but honestly, there's no wrong words to say if you are excited about your business. If you're excited about what you're doing, and that portrays in your voice, it portrays in your text, it portrays in, in how you come across virtually, it will happen. One in 10 will join your team. So let's say only nine out of the 10 qualify. Not everybody qualifies. Qualifying means that they have sold $1,250 in guest sales before they go inactive. So if you sell $1,250 this, uh, let's say you sell $500 this month, and then you sell $500 this month, and then you don't sell anything the, the third month, if they go into the fourth month and they don't sell anything, it starts back at zero again. Your career sales start back at zero again. So I had a girl that was at like $1,170. She was like less than $100 away or $150 away. And she went inactive, started back at zero. So she never did qualify. So we want to be helping our new consultants to get bookings and to get qualified. And that's going to be an important key to uh, sustaining your business. And we'll talk about how to do that. You don't have to know how to do everything, but you do have to, one, recruit people and two, bring them to these team trainings. So you need to be on the team trainings with your new consultant as well. They need to see your face that this, these trainings are important. Because if you're not on the trainings with them, they're not gonna see value in the trainings. And we're gonna be talking as a leader group as to what trainings worked last quarter, whether we wanna keep doing Tuesdays, if we wanna pick another day of the week, we're gonna talk about whether a different time works better, um, we're really going to throw some stuff around. Like I, I, I'm an early morning person or I can be an early morning person. I'm all for like, you know, if a bunch of you guys that want to do director bound, want to do a six to 7 AM or a five 30 to six 30 AM, like whatever I need to do to help you to work around the schedules, I'm willing to do it, but I, I don't want to be doing it four times a week. So we're going to talk about that coming up too. So Let's say that nine qualify, you have 27,000 points for that. 27,000 points plus your sales points of 47.3 puts you already at 74,300 points. You've already earned level one Disney. You've promoted to a director. You've earned an extra 250 Pampered Chef dollars. You have all the new products. When you promote to a director, you get all, almost all. Um, I don't think you earned a quick cooker unless you sold at the 6,000 level but you earn all the new products minus maybe one, um, and you have less points that you need in order to get to the, the different levels of the trips. So you've already earned level one, you're almost at level two, you only need 5,700 points to get to level two. So eight, eight will make you great. You're gonna hear me say this a lot in some of our team leader trainings and our director trainings and um, our advanced director trainings, eight will make you great. Now. If you're doing all virtual, you might have to up it a little bit, um, or you might have to recruit some more. So just so you know that. So let's break this down just a little bit further. Whoops. Um, here we go. So level one, 5,600 points. What if you're only doing two shows a week? Two shows a week at 550 puts you at 4,400 a month is what you're selling. By the way, when you're selling over $4,000 a month, you earn at the 25% income. So if you sell $4,400 a month, so this is two shows a week, eight shows a month, you're at 52.8 for trip points, you're earning $1,100 a month. You're also going to earn this year and last year, they added a consistency bonus. So here's your first big goal I want you guys to write down. You guys want to sell no less than $2,000 a month, no matter what. 
So I'm going to teach you guys how to find your show average and how to plan. So let's say my show average is $700. So I would take 2000, I would divide that out and I would determine that I need to do no less than three shows um, a month in order to do that. But I would have to book four or maybe five shows because guess what? We get cancellations, right? If you hold $2,000 a month per quarter, January, February, March, they'll give you a thousand trip points. March, April, May, they'll give you another thousand trip points. June, July, August, another thousand, September, October, November. So each quarter. So if you cannot hold eight shows a month or you're doing vir virtuals, as I said, you're going to need to adjust it. But here's some things that you can do. And these are some of the things that Jen and I talked about. You can add a fundraiser quarterly, but that means you need to be starting right now finding these fundraisers because fundraisers take a while to cultivate. Have you talked to your local seventh grade class to see if they go to DC in their eighth grade year. Most middle schoolers go to the DC eighth grade trip. You need to offer your services. Band and chorus goes to Disney and they go to New York every other year. You need to be talking to them. You need to be talking to the elementary school and see if they need playground equipment or if they have any things that they're trying to raise money for. You need to go to your private schools, not just your public schools, and ask if there's anything that you could help them, the drama club. I do the equine club, um, the little horseback riding club locally. There's only a handful of girls in that, and this year I think it was $1,100 or $1,200 in sales. So you need to be cultivating these uh, people because you need to learn to build a relationship with the chairperson, and then you need to be working with them. Okay, so that's an important thing to do. Um, you also want to be adding bridal showers in. We need to be looking for uh, people who are getting married. So um, raise your hand if you have a suggestion on where you would go to find somebody who's getting married. Or unmute yourself because I muted you all. A suggestion of where to go to find what, Sue? Uh, where would you go to find people that are newly engaged? Like if you got engaged, oh. where would you, where would you, uh, where would you find newly engaged people? The newspaper. Yes, the newspaper, Sunday newspaper. There are announcements. Christmas time. There are people are going to get engaged at Christmas time, people. You need to be looking in the newspaper. You need to find their name. You need to go to the white pages on the computer. You need to Google the bride's name. You need to find her address. You need to send her a mini catalog with a sheet. There is a sheet called um, uh, how to set up a wish list. I think I just posted this. Maybe I didn't even post it yet. Let me see. Recipes, for kitchen. Um, let's see. Wish list. You need to print this out. Oh, that's way too big. You guys can't see. Hold on. You need to print this out and send it to them. It, how to set up a wish list with your contact information on it. Okay? So that they can set up a wish list on your, um, on your website so that people are going to get sales from your website. Um, you also want to go to bridal shows. Now, bridal shows usually cost a boatload of money. I'll be honest. They usually will charge you like $500 to get a booth at a bridal show. Now, some Pamper Chef consultants say it's worth every penny of it. Other ones say it's a lot of leads. Um, it really depends. But there are other places you can go. You could get um, one of those cardboard boxes. You know, they make them where, you know, you put your business card in kind of thing or your name in. And you can go to br local bridal shops and you can say to them, I'm a Pampered Chef consultant. I would like to offer you, the store owner, a 60% off item or a half price item. Let's say a half price item for every bride that signs up for a bridal registry or a bridal shower with me. Would it be okay if I set my box up here and have these little, you know, tear off sheets that say, 
um, you know, like the little door price slips information about that. And um, it says sign up for a free bridal registry and get a free gift. And so their free gift is the season's best cookbook, everybody who enters. And basically you're gonna ask the store owner every time somebody puts their contact information in there to either snap a photo of it and send it to you. And if you book a party with them, then you give them um, like a half price popcorn maker, half price, you know, wood cream maker. You can have a list of the things that, that, that you feel like you can afford. So $25 or below is, um, it's costing you $12.50 when you buy it half price on the show. So it's definitely worth investing in those things. So bridal showers, because I've never done a bridal shower, a live bridal shower that's been under a thousand dollars. So you want four of those, you want four fundraisers. Now you need to be thinking intentionally, how can I promote my outlet quarterly? Okay, we all have an outlet. When you go to your own Pampered Chef website, so you're going to go in here and you're going to go www.pamperedchef.biz Sue's cooking. When you go here, you're going to click shop and then you're going to go all the way down to outlet and you're going to go to your outlet and you're going to see what's on sale in here. So maybe this, like I used this this weekend at my church um, function. I had two rock rocks, both in sweaters. And one lady said, I want one of those sweaters. Can you get me one? So I ordered it off the outlet. Um, so you might come down here and go, you know, at Cinco de Mayo, here's Mexican and margaritas, right? Or do something with herbs or come down to some of the discounts. So you're going to come down and find some things that are like, this is perfect one. You might want to post this now. We might want to post this now. So we'll take a little picture. And literally you go to your Facebook page. I'm going to go and put it on my VIP customer page. Oops. So go over to your VIP customer page and you're going to post a picture and you're going to say, have you been to my outlet lately? All kinds of great cookbooks that make Perfect gifts for those new kitchen or those uh, for your adult children or grandkids. And then you go, you want to put your website so that they can. Uh, order easily and then just post that. Now, when I do stuff like this, when I promote my outlet, people end up, I end up getting all these straight orders on my outlet because they go to my outlet and they look on some things and then they end up getting other things. And then before you know it, I think last month I had $1,100 in sales. So you just don't know. Now I have a lot more consultants on my team, but let's say you promote your outlet quarterly and you get $500 extra. That's 2,000 extra points. So your life will change when you put more energy into your dreams than your fears. Now I sent you guys the um, Disney, the Disney Seven Dwarfs, let's see. There we go. I want you guys to think about this. We talked about this. Um, oh, this one's not really clear. I'll have to get one of the other ones. Um, we talked about this at our team meeting, but a lot of you guys were, none of you guys actually were on for our Christmas party. So we talked about which one are you? And I put this in the email that I just sent out. I want you guys to print out the, the sheet. And I gave you all the trackers for Disney. And it asks, are you bashful? Are you feeling too shy and insecure to make contacts and share the business even when host coaching? Are you sneezy and too overwhelmed or allergic to the ideas because you, you're distracted with too many different things and you need permission to just focus on one area? Are you sleepy and falling asleep at the wheel and letting opportunities pass you by? Do you need to take less power naps and more power hours? I'm gonna talk about power hours as one of our trainings. Are you happy and feeling hopeful for the new year and all that you can accomplish with your big goals? 
Or are you grumpy and feeling negative and discouraged about your business because you had an off month? Or maybe you had an off season. I've had an off season. I mean, I know you guys look at me, uh, but I am probably not going to earn the top level trip for the first time in seven years. So April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, I've had almost an off year, a whole year where all of my sales and everything has kind of been off a little. So it happens in our business to everybody. It's a roller coaster. And you need to understand that, that, you know, it's very exciting when you're at the top of the roller coaster and you're like, Woo! but then you get back there and you have to go click, 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 click back up. And our job is to help you on the clicking back up. Like what personal development ideas do you guys need in order to improve yourself to get better? So you are only judging yourself based on yourself, based on um, what you yourself want to um, accomplish. So we are going to talk, you guys can unmute now. I want to talk about um, concerns. I want to talk about um, trainings. I want to talk about um, the trip. So I want you guys to unmute. I want to know that all of you that are currently on uh, intend to go for the trip. Barbara, are you looking to track for the trip? Okay, yep. Linda, are you looking to track for the trip? Okay, and I know Jen and I know Tammy is. So winners keep score. And in the email I sent you is the, um, the actual... All right, so um, the tracking for um, must be Jen. There we go. <laughs> um, a trip tracker. Have any of you guys ever used the trip tracker that Pampered Chef um, makes? Have you ever, anybody ever seen it? Okay. I am going to pull up a trip tracker for you. I have, I think. That's what I used all this past year. Yes. So I'm going to um, find the tracker. I, think I, just I looked at it, but I didn't do it. Okay. So tracking your... Um, there's a couple different ways to track. Let me go back and screen share. Screen share. Okay. So there is, um, there's just a regular tracker, you know, Disney tracker and the one that Pampered Chef actually, um, which I added to your, your, um, Form that I just sent to you guys, I emailed you guys. This is just a regular tracker, like 5,000, 10,000, what you need to do. But I want you guys to be working on what's called a show tracker. So let me uh, find that show tracker. Because a show tracker is absolutely critical for knowing whether you are on task. So here is you. We want to know who your first person is going to be that you want to join your team. So we need five little bubbles that are coming off of your specific, um, off of your um, person. So what you want to do is some of these you're going to write um, maybe like on a dry erase board and you're going to have a bubble going, but the, you'll, you'll not put them permanent, obviously, and, or in a specific color until they actually join your team. But you want to have constant recruits from each show going. So let's increase the tracker a little bit and I'll show you what I mean. So when we go down here, we have down here eight shows because our goal is eight will make you great, right? So we're gonna list out the shows that we actually have on our calendar, and we're gonna do a booking blitz to figure out how to get booked up for January. Uh, then, how many of those shows that you booked held? So most likely six out of the eight will hold because there's a 20% roll off, that's normal. How many people were in attendance? Our goal is to have 10 or more, but maybe eight showed up. 
So you're in front of 60, our goal is to be in front of 60 people or more a month and give away three pieces of recruiting information to people at the show, talking to the hostess and talking to two other guests intentionally about the business. From the 20 people that you give information to every month, uh, about six of them will actually be interested in talking to you and me about the business and about one to two will join your team. Those are the stats, which will put you at 12 um, to 24 in a year's time of recruiting. Times 3,000 points, that's huge points. You can recruit your way to Disney. So if you do not have time to do eight shows a month, then you need to be super duper intentional about recruiting. That was what I did was, I mean, I didn't really do eight shows a month, hardly ever. I am a hundred percent virtual. Yep. You um, did what? Six. I really, I just added a lot of people to my team. Yeah, team. exactly. And she helped them qualify. So some of the people who qualify on your team are going to qualify and then they're going to quit. And some of the people are going to qualify and keep going. And that's okay. That's the nature of our business. So I always say some are coming, some are going, and some are actually working. And it's like a bucket with a hole in the bottom. You have to keep pouring water into the hole, into the bucket, because they're dropping out as fast as you're putting the liquid in. It's okay. We want to know how we can help people. Sometimes they need short-term income. Sometimes they need long-term income. So we need to find how we can help them. Sometimes they're a customer, sometimes they're a host, sometimes they're a team member. So if they drop off, do we still get credit for them? Yes. Once they have, once they have qualified and they hit their, their $1,250 in guest sales, you get 3,000 points and that is banked. The only time that you get points that are banked that are not permanent is like if Jen promoted to a director but then lost her directorship before the end of the year, I would not get paid those director points. Okay, so that, that would affect trip points. And she wouldn't, she has to be a director at the end of the year in order to get the lower trip points. You can't be a director mid, you know, summer, June, July, and August, lose your directorship and still only get 80,000 points. You would have to get the 85,000 points to get the higher level trip. So, so let's talk about recruiting. Did you guys watch my video about the new bag that I've been doing at my shows? Linda, did you and Barbara see those? No. Um, did you, Linda? I did a little baggie and um, I talked about different things that I put in my bag. So I, I'm mixing up the way I'm recruiting this year because what I'm noticing is, is that new consultants are afraid to recruit because I do a question and answer, like ask me anything about the business and people are nervous about that. So at my shows, I have a Ziploc baggie and I hand out a rubber band, a Lego, a copy of a hundred dollar bill that's laminated, uh, a paycheck, a, um, a Hawaiian lay, uh, a fake credit card, um, like one of these, like when you get those fake things in the mail, you know, save them. Um, and all of that. And so I asked, asked them, tell me what you think everybody's got. I said, we're going to go around the room. I want you to tell everybody what you got and how you think that relates to my business. And so they might say what the first time somebody said, Oh, you take credit cards. And I said, yes, I do take credit cards, cash check or credit cards. I prefer credit cards, but actually the credit card is because I paid off my debt with my pampered chef income. And then I use uh, Susie on our team and I say, we also have a team member who works a full-time job and had a small child and paid off all of her student loans and her Subaru Forester with her Pampered Chef money. And then I go around, what's the rubber band for? Uh, flexibility, yes, you can work this business flexible. You can work it around another job. You can work it around children. The Lego means it's family friendly or Disney. You wanna put something in there for Disney. I put the Hawaiian lay in. I'm going to put a little Disney character in um, starting this month. Um, the commission check. I put in a, a real copy of a commission check so they knew that you earn real income, like that you can pay your bills with it. We don't get paid by products. Some people think that you get paid by products, by the way. 
somebody was like, well, how many products could you possibly even need? And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, well, don't you get paid in products? I was like, no, I get paid money just like you do. So um, these are ways of getting information out there. Now, if you are doing a virtual show, I recommend that you record this on your phone because from your phone, you can upload it and it'll play live. And what I mean by that is if you upload it to YouTube, they have to click the link in order to watch the video. If you have it from your phone and you upload it into a group, it runs live when they scroll over it. And that's a better way of engaging people. And you want to do it kind of quickly. So you might be holding up a bunch of stuff and you might say, hey, let's talk about what this might mean to, you know, about my business. Does anybody have a guess on what this is for? This is a Lego. What is this for? This is this, this, you know, and go through it. But do some type of live video that you can post onto your wall. Or if you have kids, by all means, get the kids involved or grandkids. You know what I mean? Have them put one item on the counter at a time or something. People love children and pets. So if you can engage them into your, your show, you definitely want to do that. So what can I answer for questions so far? What are your concerns? 